hello guys how are y'all um this video is not one of those videos that i'm just uber excited to you know i'm excited that you guys are looking at me and everything and um, tuning into these world but um this video was not um easy to do easy to talk about because literally it just happened two weeks ago and so um but i i feel in myself that this video is needed for other people um it's something i think that i think that we need to talk about i think we need to discuss um the symptoms and what to look out for um and if you don't know by the title my husband had heart attack that day that night rather my husband was having problems he kept saying that his arm was hurting and he kept doing this with his arm. He just kept saying, my arm is hurting. And he kept doing this with his arm. So we didn't think nothing of it. We were just like, okay, I'll give you a massage. You want a massage? Do you want me to? I tried to like put it above his head like this to kind of push it, kind of stretch it a little bit. And it just wouldn't stop hurting. It would not stop hurting. And so <clears throat> that night, y'all bear with me because it's a lot, but that night, the pain just wouldn't stop it moved to both arms so i'm just trying to just massage him and then when he started to just like he was almost like oh my god my arms are hurting my arms my arms so immediately i'm like do you want to go to the er you know growing up if my mom saw any little thing if she got a fever anything we were at the emergency room like i don't play about that i will take you to the emergency room immediately so I'm like, let's go to the ER. <laughs> you know, he was like, no, I think I can handle it. You know how some men just don't like to go to the doctor. And he's like, handle it. I was like, okay, honey, I really think we should take you to the ER. And so um, then he was like, he's kind of having like energy. I don't know if he said he was having indigestion that night. It's kind of like a blur to me a little bit. Um, but I remember... Um, I remember getting up I mean he stood up and he threw up and I'm like oh my god you know I remember cleaning it all up and everything and that and I was like Do you, are you sure honey let's go to the ER and he was just like I should be okay so he was laying there in pain and he fell asleep and I'm like okay well maybe in the morning he should feel better you know um, like that and so that morning he said babe the pain has moved to my chest area and I'm just like oh no let's Lydia let's go to the ER I was like do you have the strength should I call the ambulance um you know I, I tell you I don't play about the ER none of that stuff so I said should I call the ambulance for you if you don't have the strength let's let's not go he was like no I should be able to drive I can do it I said are you sure and so he was like, yes, let's just go. So I said, okay, let's put on our clothes. We left and went to the ER. And before, right when we got into the parking lot, we literally, he stopped. We were in, in my shuttle bus. He stopped the shuttle bus. He jumps out, okay, because we couldn't find the keys to the van. So I'm like, he was like, I don't care. We just got to go. So that's why we're in the shuttle bus. So we, he jumps out of the shuttle bus. And he just fell on the, the grass and he, and I knew then I'm like, oh my gosh, something's up. Cause he don't normally do that. He was all on the ground. He couldn't move. He threw up. He was just, I never seen Adam like that ever. So I called the ambulance in the parking lot of the hospital. They came, picked him up, took him to the hospital. We was in the ER, he was still in lots of pain. They gave him an x-ray. They, that's when they discovered that Adam was having a heart attack. And so, oh my God, it was something because I'm sitting there just like, what the heck is going on? Like, at first it was like, oh, I don't think it's any heart related issues, the first thing they told me. But after the, the results and stuff came back, 
all doctors crowded in the room. It's like what you see on the movies. They all crowded in there. Doctors coming up to me saying he could possibly have heart failure. They're looking at me as if they don't know if he's gonna, you know, make it or that's the look I got from them. You know, I'm, I'm crying and I remember crying so hard, like I almost fainted because it went from, I don't think it's health, heart related to this. I remember crying so hard and it was like, ma'am, do you, do, are you okay? Do you need some assistance? Like, do you need us to help you or whatever? And I remember Adam was like, babe, I'm going to be okay. Like, you can calm down. Like, I'm like, huh? I'm looking at him like, are you serious right now? But he was like, I'm going to be fine, you know? Um, and I just, you know, held his hand. It was like, we have to send him immediately to rush him to surgery. Cause it it you know they was like we had to send him straight to surgery to put I guess they wanted to put stents or something at that time they didn't tell me about the stents they was like we just need to rush him to surgery to you know prevent him from having a full on heart attack so they took him in um, they ended up putting four stents in his heart four stents and um, they were able to you know save his heart. And um, I'm thankful for that. Those doctors were amazing. And um, what I'm more thankful for is my guest that is about to join me for this episode. Okay, guys, so here's Adam. So he made it, you guys, which I'm super, super blessed to say that because, you know, a lot of people don't, um, excuse me, a lot of people don't make it, um, for certain heart attacks. I and mean, when you look at movies and you see a person grab their heart like that, like they're, oh, and they can tell that they're having a heart attack, right? I think heart attacks come in various ways because it was your arms and the back of your, in the middle of his neck. So that's why I didn't think that it was a huge heart attack. I thought that he was contracting it, but didn't have it because they saved him before he could have it. You know, so he was like, don't say that, honey, like, I had heart attack. So, he's going to talk to you guys yeah, more. I said, don't say I contracted a heart attack. Yeah. So, he's going to. I prefer. I prefer it only. Okay. But he's going to talk to you guys about um, what they did um, in in the, um, you know, what did they do to save his, 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 save his heart. Okay, so during my surgery, they went through my wrist right here where you see this little dot. And they used like a camera that they could see and they went all the way through my artery and through my heart and put four stents in one of the main artery, the major artery in my heart that pumps the blood, that's in control of pumping the blood in the heart. And then the next day they did another one, just a single one, and another one of the veins there because mm -hmm. it was partially blocked as well. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I'm gonna kind of interview him a little bit because he doesn't really, he said he likes me to ask him the questions first. Um, do you feel any pain now? He has four stints. And first of all, before I ask you about if you feel any pain, what were you feeling um, when you knew it was time for you to go to the ER? Um, well, for the longest time, like he had said, I was feeling like an extreme like pain going across from shoulder to shoulder in between the shoulder blades there almost as if somebody was taking the muscles and literally pulling them together oh. and also was feeling like extreme pain in the bicep area on both of my arms hmm. and then that morning i remember you said it was yeah, in your my chest. chest i felt a little pain and i felt some slight pressure in my chest and you guys see that? And this is why I want to do the video to help out anyone else. Because we're young. My husband is just 40. I'm 39. We wouldn't think that he would have a heart attack at the age of 40. Um, you know, so I, again, I thought a heart attack was when you see someone put their hand on their heart. And, oh, my God, I'm having a heart attack. But he didn't even, he slightly felt pain in his chest. Slightly. Okay, so, um... So how long, okay, well, I know the, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he wants me to ask the questions, but um, once they performed the surgery on you, um, how did you feel? Did you feel an instant relief, you know, 
after they put the stents in? Yes. Um, honestly, when they put them in, they asked if I could scoot from the operating table over to the stretcher to take me to my room. But in reality, I honestly felt as if I could have gotten up, gotten up and walked off the operating table and went home. Mm. Okay, so that's good. Um, so, but you remember, I remember when we first went in, your neck was so tight. You mm -hmm. guys, his neck was super tight when we went in and his shoulder area was like extremely tight. Like, um, but I noticed that after the surgery, you're immediately that, that loosened. Like I, I just noticed a big difference. All right. So, um, let me ask you another question. Um, did you feel any, did you feel it? You know, like, did they put you to sleep? I didn't know if they put you to sleep or not. Oh, when you I had the surgery? I don't know. That's still up in the air. Um, <laughs> yeah, I remember. I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. Mm -hmm. I think I was asleep, mm -hmm. but I'm really not 100% sure. I know they gave me something for pain. Oh, I know okay. They gave me something for pain, and then I remember them asking, calling my name, and I answered them. Okay, okay, good. Um, what else? Another question I wanted to ask. Uh, did they do you feel the stents like i don't know why some people think you can feel the stents in your chest can you feel it um no i can't like I, if you twist your no, you know I you do this i don't feel them at all okay like that's if good. i move my body around or anything like that no i don't feel, don't feel anything it. different mm -hmm. that way and here's the thing too guys the hospital that we were at they did an amazing job they basically like schooled us and educated us on everything when it comes to stents. I thought stents were like a pacemaker, um, but it's not. Stents are there to, I guess, help the blood flow through the arteries the yeah, correct so way. Yeah, so what they do is when your artery is clogged, it's a metal tube that's in there and mm -hmm. it holds the artery open. Oh, and it holds it open. So that the blood can flow through properly. Mm -hmm. Now you guys, his main artery of his heart was 100% clogged, 100%. And and he's sitting here today, you guys. By the grace of God, that is amazing. I, you know, I fell on my knees and thank God for that. You know, we had everybody praying, but um, that that's amazing. He also had another artery that was seventy something percent, seventy four percent clogged, and they put three stents in four. that main artery. Four. Four stents. In the main. Mm -hmm. One in the other. Basically, the stents, you can live a normal life with the stents, you guys. You um, can can run, you can jog, you can walk, you can exercise. Um, the main thing that they wanted Adam to change was his eating, what, what he eats. Um, you know, um, like going out to Taco Bell, his favorite is Mountain Dew. Um, he loves red meat burgers and steak and stuff we can't eat none of that anymore the whole house has completely changed the way we eat now i normally eat healthy we normally eat healthy but sometimes we have our cheat days you know i'm from the south we you know we fry not everything but we like to fry down here and so we stop that basically we use our air fryer we eat you know a heart healthy traditional you know that is our heart healthy meals in our home now um we don't want him only eating healthy by himself so if we want something like sweet to eat we come up you know we look up recipes and things like that of things that he can have that is heart healthy he can't have any sugars anything like that and why is because they're trying to we're trying to strengthen his heart back because when you have a heart attack it gets a little weak so we're now trying to strengthen it back so if you know anybody out there that had a heart attack, make sure that they continue to walk and move and, 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 and work out because you want the blood to flow and pump to the heart. You know, you don't want it just to sit there. You know what I mean? You want it to the blood and everything to move. And that's what the stents are there for. So you can have a normal life. So you don't have to worry about it. And the, um, the other stent they put in the other artery he wasn't going to do it at first, but he said, let's go ahead on and put a stent in this to prevent anything from happening in the future. Okay, so Adam's good. Um, how do you feel with your breathing and stuff right um, now? And you can be honest. Um, breathing is, it's, 
I don't know, it's something you think about mm -hmm. more now. Mm -hmm. um, just because I, and I'm not, the medications that you're on and stuff that I'm on, mm -hmm. um, you feel as if you can't breathe, so you're taking like, you find yourself taking like deeper breaths mm -hmm. at certain times or breathing deeper, mm -hmm. you know, kind of something more like a, like that, as mm -hmm. if almost like to get relief mm -hmm. or whatnot, but you don't really need it. It's more, I think, like a mind thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, but and he did. Yeah. yeah, he said that. He told Adam that sometimes your mind can tell you that, you know, oh my God, is this happening again? Or um, I can't breathe, you know, because of what all what went on, you know. So, and it affects your spouse mentally too. It affects me mentally. Um, you know, I've been up almost every other night crying because I'm saying to myself, like, you know, I wish we could have prevented this or you know, you start blaming yourself and all of that because um, basically, I guess when you have a heart attack and they see that your arteries are clogged, they name that as heart disease. Okay. So his heart is like, a, like he just said, is still weak, right? And so we're trying to build it up. Now, before he left the hospital, his heart was at a 25%. Now, you know, a normal heart um, power should be at 60 or higher. His was at 25 when we left the hospital. Um, when he went back to his first doctor's visit, um, it was at 31 so that is great okay so that is really good um so it's going up and up and up so our goal is to have it at about 45 50 by the time he gets to his next doctor appointment okay so we're going in our next video you guys we're going to basically talk to you guys about um you know what how what are we doing as far as how we're eating how do you eat for heart health can you still eat the same but just minus the salt and the sugars and stuff so you guys make sure you click on our next video because we're going to talk to you guys about that thanks again for coming to d's world Peace, all right guys adam made it through yes he had a heart attack but he made it you guys they fixed his heart i always tell him that he does not have a bad heart he has a fixed heart okay and if you guys know someone that are experiencing these symptoms, take them to the doctor. Take call 911. Take them to the ER immediately. Okay? Alright, so thanks for coming to this video. And I will see you guys for another video.